Hello and welcome to Aftershoot. In today's video, we're going over your brand new culling preferences screen. So if you're a past Aftershoot user upgrading to the new version, you're gonna notice some changes, but we're gonna walk through this as if you've never used Aftershoot before. So let's get started. First things first, we wanna make sure that you choose the correct genre for your files. Every single different category has different algorithms meant to enhance the overall culling experience based on the style of shoot it is. So for a prime example, your wedding and engagement shoot will have a kiss detection system built into it, whereas your sports photography system will not have kiss detection detection in it. So this really is important because it does impact the overall results. For instance, your school portrait pipeline actually has a specific algorithm looking to make sure that we pull out an adequate amount of poses per each student. Whereas your school event system is actually looking at the overall images and not looking to make sure we maintain a certain consistency across all the different students. You're gonna notice one single slider here. This is your Aftershoot AI cull. This is a pretty simple slider. This is going to let you decide how many images you ultimately want us to keep. This is your less, which will give you the least amount of images as selections, or your more, which will give you the most amount of images as selections. Now, it's important to remember Aftershoot will always give you one of everything, so if you were to take five out of focus images, Aftershoot will still select one because we don't want to make a creative decision for you. But with this slider, it will reduce the overall quantity of the images selected or increase them based on which direction you move it. Now, of course, some people like to customize that cull and have a little bit more control over the system. In order to do that, you're simply going to click on Customized AI Cull. And in here, you'll be able to turn off individual sliders if you'd like. So if you don't want us to find closed eyes, you can simply toggle it off. If you don't want us to find blurry photos, we can simply toggle that off. Now, of course, if you want to dictate how Aftershoot puts similar images together, simply click on the duplicate photos section and you'll be able to actually slide this slider around to determine how many images you would like us to put in each group. So if you were to select less groups, that means that you will have larger sets of images that are put together in which we pull out the best image. If you were to select many groups, it's going to use smaller sets of images and pull out more images, but one from every set. So what does that mean? That means if you were to select many groups, you're gonna get much more variety within the images that Aftershoot chooses. Whereas if you were to head to less groups, it's gonna give you less variety overall because it's gonna put more images together and try and just pull one out of each set. Now, of course, you can still choose the blur detection photos, but in this update, we've also introduced a brand new system for AI blur detection. What this will do is actually look at the overall quality assessment of the shoot and the blur, and then determine what the best percentage of images to be considered as sharp would be. Now, of course, you can always go in and cull manually if you'd like, and of course, you can change your stars and colors every time you cull if you'd like. But if everything else is good, go ahead and click on Start Culling and let Aftershoot do its magic. Of course, we're always here. Be sure to check out some of our other videos if you have any questions about Aftershoot.